Look at these incredibly intricate and detailed designs. What do you think they're made of? In every traditional bazaar of Iran, you can find such handicrafts. Welcome back to Narsis. Today, we talk about Khatam Gadi. To find out how these beautiful pieces of art are made, we went to one of the Khatamkari workshops right outside of Isfahan, courtesy of this guy, a master of Khatamkari who has 40 years of experience in the art. This first workshop was full of boxes filled up with these interesting blocks. These are called Khatam flowers and they are the building blocks of different khatam patterns. Each and every flower is made of sticking together tiny triangular shapes made from three main materials, wood, brass, and bone. Khatam has a lot of different things. It's 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 a lot of different things. Traditionally, each of these materials were processed and prepared by hand, but currently machines are used for a lot of the process. To make the small triangles, the brass is pressed and made thin using a machine. The bones are also sliced into thin layers and then put into acid and dried. <laughs> As the master said, after the khatam flower is prepared, it is cut into 10 centimeter pieces, which is about 4 inches, using this saw machine. The other saw blades were hung up on the walls. Although, traditionally, they used to be cut by hand, using saws like this one. But now this guy is retired and hangs from the wall as decoration. The truth is, even after seeing Khatam Kari our whole lives, we had no idea how the patterns are made. We were so amazed by the process that the master gave us some of the end pieces of the Khatam flowers that weren't useful anymore as gifts. So, after the khatam flowers are made, they should be put together to form a bigger pattern. The pieces are put next to one another and they are sandwiched between two pieces of flat wood. They also apply a very traditional substance called sereshun that acts as glue, sticking everything together. Sereshun is a sticky substance made from the fat and gelatinous parts of animal bones and intestines. It is only made in the city of Yazd in Iran and it is made into rock shapes like this. To use it, the Khatam artists melt it again and apply it to their work. Once the pieces are set and the glue sets a bit, it is time to put it under extreme heat and pressure. 
the kind Khatam artist working in the workshop was kind enough to show us how it's done. The job is done using these large clamps. First the clamp is heated up with fire and then the piece is mounted on it. Then the clamp is tightened as much as possible and it rests like this for hours. This is done to get rid of any space between the pieces and to stick it all together into a unified plate. This first layer, as you can see, is dirty, but when it is cut, the next layer will be totally clean. Aside from Khatam, the workshop had an interesting atmosphere, and you could see expensive Khatam artworks that we value so greatly like this tissue box stranded in every corner of the shop. After the plates stay under pressure for a while and get prepared, they are sent to this workshop, just on the other side of the road. In this place, the layers are cut into thin slices and then stacked and prepared for the next stage. The job is done mainly using this machine saw, which cuts the plate very precisely. The place was covered in wood dust and it was filled with the sweet smell of charred wood. In this place, the owner gave us a Khatam chessboard that they had made as a gift. The stack of thin Khatam slices come to this last workshop. Here the artists stick them on different types of surfaces. Here, they gather wood that is completely dry and have it cut into surfaces. The wood is made into picture frames, boxes, pens and pen boxes, and every other type of wooden object. Then, they are ready for khatam kari. Here, the thin layers of khatam are put next to one another to create seamless patterns to cover the wood. This here is going to be the inside plate of a box. Finally, the khatam is coated with a layer of varnish to prevent rusting, and it is off to the markets. In our final stop of the day, we visited another workshop that works on larger surfaces and saw some of their works in progress. Their most recent project was this conference meeting table that shows the versatility of Khatam on every surface, small or big. You can find Khatam artworks in the traditional bazaars of Isfahan, including Qaysariya Bazaar. So, if you come to Iran, don't forget to get a Khatam souvenir. Thank you for watching our journey about the art of Khatam Kari. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy learning about everything Iran and Isfahan, don't forget to subscribe and tell us in the comments what other videos do you want us to make. Till next time.